Not yet. Now, a changing of the guard is on the horizon for the University of Alabama. The university's president, Dr. Judy Bonner, announced today that she would be stepping down as head of the school by next fall. WIAT 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff spoke with students in Tuscaloosa to see how they are reacting to this announcement. Those reactions really all over the map, from good to skeptical to just apathetic. I think it's good for her, you know, she's moving on. She feels like it's you know, the right time to move on. In a letter to the University of Alabama community, President Judy Bonner said she'd be out of her office by the end of September. That means she'll have officially held her title for just under three years. This was not an easy decision to make, Bonner wrote. Like many other Alabama families, ours too has a long and deep connection to this special place. For some students, Bonner's presidential term was not long enough to leave an impression. I've gotten emails here and there. Um, that's about it. The Board of Trustees will start searching for Bonner's replacement in January. Many students look forward to seeing a fresh face on campus. I think any change is good change. I mean, I don't think she necessarily did a bad job. I don't think she necessarily changed that much, but I mean, if someone can come in and, you know, bring more students in or change, changes for the better. While others think there's more to Bonner's message than what was conveyed in her letter. It's actually pretty shocking because she gave no indication that this letter would be coming anytime soon. So I'm just wondering, like, you know, why is she planning to step down? I, I know she wrote reasons in the letter, but I'm not really buying them. Although, exactly what those reasons could be? You never know down here, just how things go. In her letter, Dr. Bonner said she'd be taking a year sabbatical, then coming right back here to the University of Alabama to work directly with students as a member of the faculty. A spokesman for the president said she would not be available for comment until the new year. In Tuscaloosa, Jamie Ostroff, WIT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.